Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Today, we are gonna start off with just a little bit of a different approach. Uh, we've done this workout before, but we're gonna do it um, at the beginning of the week instead of midweek. It is going to be your Monday mobility workout. We're gonna take you through a couple of different ranges of motion movements, um, some slight uh, hip mobility uh, exercises, and some have a little bit of uh, yoga influence. But we're gonna take you through this one. Our goal is to get you as loose as possible, mentally, physically primed and prepped, ready to go for the entire week. And then overall, or over the uh, duration of the week, ramp it up to hit it hard on Friday and Saturday. So uh, make sure you have a mat. If you have straps or bungees that you want to use to help encourage the range of motion, feel free to grab that. I'm going to do it plain Jane, no weights, no bands. Um, not even on a PVC pipe to warm up to loosen up and uh, we'll go through through that so do what you can as best you can if your range of motion is not as complete um, or if it's more complete than mine which is a, a very realistic possibility uh, just go with it and continue to breathe so let's go ahead and get it started we're gonna start on our back on our mat now we're gonna go through it kind of smooth some is gonna be repetition some is gonna be a little bit more of the feel but uh, let's just go through it. We're gonna start off playing Jane regular, lying leg kicks with that lead leg. And let's just go maybe 10, 15, 20 repetitions, somewhere in there. I'll attempt to count. Now my first repetition, I'm sorry, my first set, the opposing leg, my left leg, is not going to be doing anything and it's also going to be bent. That's gonna make it a little bit easier for this right side to kind of go through a full range of motion, even though it might not be fully loosened up just yet. Let's go five more repetitions. Four, three, two, one, and switch it over. I'm gonna do the same darn thing over here. Keep that non-working leg, which is now my right leg, bent. Now, my goal is to have it straight, but until I'm loosened up, ready to go, there's a slight bend in it. My ankle is just relaxed. It's not flexed just yet. And then the goal is as you loosen up to do things a little bit more complete, a little bit more uh, full and technically correct. Let's go five more. Four, three, two, one, and time. So now our second set line leg kick. My non-working leg is my left leg. So I'm gonna drive that heel, left heel into the ground and kick up that right. So I'm actually activating the left leg engaging the muscles in the left leg and stretching the legs or the muscles in the right leg. Now, the nature of this movement, right quad might tighten up over time. Five, four, three, two, one, switch it. So now that we switched it, opposite leg and heel is into the ground. One thing I did not mention was I got my head up, shoulders up, I'm trying to tighten and incorporate my abs, my midsection. I want that to be engaged the entire time. So it's almost like holding a crunch. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring these back in. We're gonna do those spinal rockers. And we're gonna throw these bad boys in here just every now and then to kind of loosen it back up. We're trying to loosen up, but sometimes going through mobilities and stretches can actually tighten you up. So we don't want too much muscular tension in a day like today or in a workout like today. So I'm gonna go two more. There's one spinal rocker. We're gonna go one more. And there's gonna be two. Now I'm gonna go my right leg. I'm gonna go the line leg kick, but I'm actually gonna go across my body. So you guys know this is a reverse scorpion kick. Hands down, up, and over, opposite leg, left leg up, and over. Now you can bend that leg, you can keep that leg straight. Just whichever direction you're going, you're gonna to wanna to try and rotate the, the other way. So my right leg is going towards the left, I'm gonna try and rotate and look away to that right. Just to get a little bit of rotation, a little bit of tension. If I want a bigger range of motion, easier range of motion, I bend the leg. Bend the knee. Go two more piece. And breathe. When your leg gets to the bottom, that's when you want to exhale. One more piece. And break. 
Okay, second set, second round. We'll go back to those spinal rockers. Nice and loosey-goosey. Now all I'm doing is holding my shins, holding right below my knees. And what I'm trying to do is, if I get stuck, I'm gonna try and kick or reach with my legs, but instead of opening up, I'm just kind of keeping the knees to my chest, but that's my resistance. That's what kind of helps me rock. Let's go a couple more. One more. And break. All right, so now we're gonna do what's called a leg whip. Line leg kick to leg whip. So instead of across your body like the reverse scorpion kick, it's to the outside of your body. My left leg is gonna be my non-working leg, but I'm gonna have it bent and in the floor. Arms are still to the side. I'm gonna come up and over to the outside. Bring it on up, reset, reload, repeat. And go ahead, nice and smooth. Now in a perfect world, I'm not there, but you want that leg to be perpendicular, 90 degrees with your hip. Me, I'm definitely shy of 90, but that is the goal. Rotate with it, open up with it is totally fine. You're gonna get that stretch because of the setup with that non-working leg. So three more. Two more. One more. And switch. Okay, so now my right leg is my non-working leg, so that becomes the bent leg. Arms are still out to the side. Leg up, left leg up, out to the side. Reset, reload, repeat. We just keep going nice and smooth. This is not a fast movement. It's not a crazy movement but you do want to be under control, especially when we're working with the hips. Ah, let's go two more. One more. And that is your line leg kick to leg whip. And we are finding ourselves at our third set, last set of spinal rockers. Now, just like we do when we do our standing hip mobilities, we have that high knee pull. We're gonna go into that high knee pull. Let's go one more spinal rocker. Beautiful, beautiful. And high knee pull. Now we got a couple of exercises under our belt. So it is possible that you are starting to loosen up to where you can bring that heel to the opposing hip. But we're just gonna spend a little bit of time on it. Reset, repeat on the other side. So pull, pull, pull a little bit. Optional heel to opposing hip, but continue to pull it, pull, pull, pull. Reset, other side. Now however you pull, I've not mentioned this, but underneath the leg is totally fine. I like to grab here because it gives you a little bit more stability and support and gives you a little bit more of a grip to pull. Because when you do this heel to opposing hip with the tension and the, uh, the, uh, the torque on the knee, you want to make sure that is supported as much as possible. Even if you don't have any knee issues, we don't want any, so you just want to support it. Move that around. Good. Now one side might be better than the other, and that's the case here with me. I'm gonna go one more piece. Here's my last one. Okay. Now we don't have a quad stretch on our back. So what we're gonna do is continue with being on our back and go through those progressions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do basically a single leg glute bridge. But what we're gonna do is get set up for a single leg glute bridge with the leg across, but you're gonna just drop that foot to the floor. So your butt stays on the floor your setup is like your single leg glute bridge, but you're gonna set it to the floor, okay? So I got my right foot up, my right leg up, and I'm gonna try and touch my right foot to the floor on my left side, okay? So I'm gonna exhale, try to look to the right, try to stay squared up, but drop that right foot to the floor, reset. 
Now you totally could get a throw a glute bridge in there. That's awesome. Totally, totally could. In fact, I'm going to do that every repetition. It has nothing to do with this movement right here, but it doesn't hurt to do it. Okay, glute bridge. Open up that hip just a little bit, and then rotate. We'll go two more. And all this is is a single leg or unilateral version of our torso rotations, our lower trunk torso rotations. And then one more glute bridge to finish. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Now it's gonna be left side. And again, remember, there might be some differences from side to side. That's quite all right. Our goal is to get them even Steven, but if there's not, like I said before, my left side's a little bit tighter than my right. The way I stand, the way I walk when I'm at the gym training, and if I happen to take a knee, uh, I favor one side over the other. Therefore, the one work, non-working side happens to be a little bit tighter. That's this guy. If you don't have an imbalance, awesome. More power to you. Your ranges of motion should be as big as possible, and then they should be the same. So all I'm doing is because my leg wants to kick, I'm just giving it a little bit of help, a little bit of encouragement to hold it. With that glute bridge, because there's no, no, uh, no downside to recruiting the glute. We'll go one more, one more on this side. Finish with the glute bridge. Single leg. All right. Now, no spinal rocker, but get set up like your spinal rocker. But instead of grabbing your uh, your knees or your shins or even your thighs underneath, go ahead and try to grab the outer portion of your foot. Okay. And all you're trying to do is bring the heel to your butt. Okay. Bring that heel in. Now, once you get in as close as you can, start to press out or pull out or push out or separate the feet. Okay. This is trying to achieve the same hip mobility and range of motion as that super squat hold or that hyper squat where we hold and break. All right, so let's get reset now. I'm gonna face you guys so you can see this. I'm gonna sit on my butt and my right leg is straight ahead towards you guys. My right knee is in, at a 90 degree angle my left leg is off to the side. That is also at a 90 degree angle. So right hip, right knee, right ankle lines up with the left knee, left ankle, okay? So 90 degrees. Now my right foot is in front, so my right hand is at my side trying to push myself up, but I'm going to rotate over, down, up, collapse, however you want to do it, rotate towards that lead leg. So we're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it, Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now come back the other way. Take that right arm, right knee, right shin, right foot, however you gotta do it. Grab and pull with the left arm. Rotate both towards both your feet. And back over. Reach, 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 reach. Slowly collapse down. Switch it back over. Let's say that that's kinda like uh, one full rotation, two full rotations, or repetitions. We'll do a couple more. I'm actually gonna switch this up. I'm gonna go forward on it. And you might feel a little bit of a better stretch. You go forward on it instead of rotating. This is also good. And then back to that left. And when you go to the left, make sure the right doesn't kick up. So sometimes every now and then, I'm just trying to reinforce that knee staying down, that lead leg staying down. We'll go one more piece. This I think will be like four or five, but I'm just gonna drop that left elbow in front of my right shin. Should feel a right butt, right glute, right hip stretch. And then last one away, or towards your left leg. Okay, I'm gonna switch the other way to make it as easy as possible. There is a transition that we should work towards. That was not it. All right, so now I'm facing you guys again, but it's my left and my left arm is on the floor trying to square it up. Right knee is straight or at 90 degrees, straight in line with my left uh, ankle. 
Now I'm going to start right arm reaching away like I did that first. So I'm trying to stay up tall and then dropping down. Up and over. Now for me, this is going to be the tricky one. I'm going to rotate my left arm, left side towards my right. So I'm going to grab with my right just to kind of give me something to hold on to. And I'm going to rotate towards using my, my, my legs and my feet as leverage to kind of encourage and help and increase my range of motion. And then rotating away, right arm on the left side of my body. Collapse down, totally fine. Let's go one more like this where I'm gonna hold, I'm not gonna cheat, I'm gonna put my body in the position that I need it to be in. And then slowly over time, the goal is I won't have to put myself in that position. My body will be able to move and achieve that position. All right, so now I'm gonna drop that right elbow to the floor here and then in front here try to get that left glute left hip and then rotate away this one stays the same reach up if you want a little bit of lat doesn't matter remember when we're doing these mobilities and stretches I've said it before sometimes when you're moving something it might not be perfect it might not be 100% technically correct but if you're stiff or sore or tight and you're feeling a stretch, these basic body weight stretches, self-inflicted stretches, go with them. You're not gonna have the ability to stretch so far that you do damage. So take it, if you feel a stretch, hold it, breathe through it, work through it. And we'll go one more rotate towards those legs. Okay, now the, the progression of the transition that I was talking about is just literally Flop those over and down. Flop those over and down. So we'll work towards that. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get on our knees and we're gonna do our basic hip mobilities that we've done a lot. I'm gonna go roughly 10 repetitions, right side, then left side, right side, then left side. So I'm not gonna do the whole progression because my goal is not to fatigue. My goal is to loosen up and go through a complete full range of motion. So I don't want to do too much um, on one muscle group or one movement. So let's go fire hydrant, right side, roughly 10 repetitions. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, other side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now this one, because I'm trying to get a range of motion and activate muscles, I'm actually gonna go bent leg, flexed ankle, donkey kicks. So bend the knee and get the heel to the ceiling. Three, two, one and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten other side one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10. Good, all right, so now I'm gonna go a straight-legged lateral lift, okay? Range of motion is not important. Control and getting laterally is important, okay? Straight leg, so this time we do actually want a straight leg. So I'm gonna go right leg first, and because it's the right side, make sure the left side of the body does not dip. The goal is to just Lift, small, very small range of motion, but just keep that leg straight, straight legged leg lift. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that pigeon pose. We're gonna try and stretch out that right butt that you just lifted. Step back with the left foot. Keep your right knee on the floor, right foot on the floor. 
sitting down on that right side as much as possible. Now we've done this one before. You can collapse down, you can rotate either way, you can sit up and extend, however you want to do this. We're just gonna hold. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, left side, straight-legged lateral lift, straight-legged lateral kick, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, step back or stride back with that right foot, keeping your left foot in front of you, or left knee in front of you, and rotate, rotate, sink down, sink up, however you gotta do it, whatever you need to do. We're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and time, and time. All right, so keeping your mat if you need it, we're gonna do your groiner, and the first rotation, we're just gonna hold each repetition for a couple of count. Okay, no drop, no rotate, no reach, nothing yet. So we're gonna go a couple of repetitions, but a hold. So let's get set up into our groiner position. Okay, three, two, one, and hold. Now when you're doing this hold, both arms sitting up here. I like to kind of do this one because I'm able to push a little bit more my body weight. My right leg, my right knee is going down, my hips are going down, but I want my upper body to come up with it and this happens to help. There's nothing wrong with this guy by any means. Three, two, one, and switch it. Same idea, we're just holding. Three, two, one, and go. Same thing. Now you could even put that back knee down. That's totally fine. But back knee down, hips down, chest up, eyes up. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, switch it over. Now we're gonna reach, we're gonna rotate. This is my left foot. So I'm gonna rotate left arm to the ceiling and then left elbow to the ceiling. We're gonna do it a couple times. Ceiling, reach, 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 reach. Floor, let's go two more times. So we'll just do three. Ceiling to floor, two a piece. Ceiling, floor, three a piece. All right, let's go ahead and switch it. Same idea, now my right side, right foot. I'm gonna do the same darn thing, ceiling and floor. Okay, let's do it up and up, raise. Oh, ceiling and floor. Get that elbow down if you can. Ugh. Ceiling, reach, 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 reach. Floor. There's two. Ugh. Ceiling. Ugh. And floor. Okay, break, break, break. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do your upward dog, downward dog, and then we're gonna go into a squat plank. This is gonna kind of be like what we did on Saturday. If you were joined us or did uh, the Saturday workout at some point in time between then and now, we're gonna kind of do this. So start in your push-up position. We're gonna lower the hips to an upward facing dog. Then we're gonna raise the hips and do a downward dog. Then you're gonna squat plank. Okay, so let me show you this way first. So push up or plank position, okay? Lower the hips. I go tops of my feet because I'm not wearing shoes right now, so that's the way I do it. Then I will go to my feet. Now I like to bend my knees just a little bit, but this is my version of a downward dog. This is what my range of motion and flexibility allows. Then from here, I'm gonna sit it down as much as I possibly can. Reset. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Push up or plank position, we'll go a couple of repetitions. Okay, in three, two, one, and go. Nice and smooth, steady, Eddie. Go at your pace. If you'd like to hold one position longer than the others, that's fine. I like to breathe through it. Good. 
then sit it down. Reset, that's one. I'm gonna go three repetitions. You can do however many you need to do. Keep breathing. Now when you're in this upward facing dog, don't dip, extend and push. A little bit of strength here, get strong with it. Squeeze the glutes at the same time. Okay, here's my third repetition. Whether you're on your third repetition or 33rd repetition, nice and smooth, steady Eddie. And I'm gonna finish where I started, right here. All right, break, shake, rest, recover. I'm gonna turn my mat because I'm gonna end up being long ways here. We're gonna lay down flat on our face, on our bellies. We're gonna do a couple of arm movements. Now we've done these at some point in time in some workouts, so this is not necessarily new, but you're gonna do your Superman arm circles or Superman shoulder circles. Now remember, we're doing this for the shoulders, but because we're in the Superman uh, position or setup, squeeze the glutes, activate your backside, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your low back. Okay, we're gonna do a Superman shoulder circle. Palms down, squeeze the butt, squeeze the back, lift the chest, lift the legs. Keep up, keep up, keep up. When your hands get even with your hips, flip the palm up. Take the thumb to the thigh, thumb to the butt, or thumb to thumb if you can. Bring it on back, palms down, and relax. All right, I'm gonna do five of them, and I'm definitely counting that one. Let's do it. Up. Two. Three. Four. And five, and five. Okay, I'm gonna sit back, butt to heels, and just do a little bit of stretch of those same hamstring, glutes, and low back. And then when I go from here, I'm gonna go into that quadruped stance. And we've done our quadruped. Um, the quadruped is your on your hands and your knees, like you're doing hip mobilities. Okay, we're gonna go through a couple of movements there, starting off with the bird dog. Most of you have done this before. Okay, now we're gonna set up. So I'm gonna go right arm, left leg. Now if you lose your balance or just need to pause, put that right arm, right hand, left knee on the floor. But the goal is to stay off of the left knee and right hand. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 repetitions. Collapse or crunch down, elbow to knee, almost like a really, really, really exaggerated bicycle. And then kick out and reach out, squeeze the butt, squeeze the back, squeeze the shoulders, one. Little bit of a pause, little bit of a pause, little bit of pause, two. Reach, 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 squeeze, 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 stretch, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more time this side and 10. Now I'm gonna sit back, butt to heels just a little bit. And we're gonna go other side. So now it's gonna be left hand, right leg or right knee, 10 repetitions. Okay, let's get it set up in three, two, one, and go. Crunch and flex and bend, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, uh, and 10. And same thing, I'm going to sit back, kind of collect myself, sit back, get nice and loose. All right, again, this is going to be another, this next one is going to be something we've done before. It's another torso rotation, trying to open up the chest a little bit, giving us a little bit of a torso rotation. So next time you're in the car and you reach back, or you reach to your center console, or you reach back to smack your kids, not that any of us would do that, but that's an example. It's not that big of a deal for you to rotate and be under tension. It's not a surprise to your body. Okay, that's why all of these movements and mobilities are important, is because when you do move unexpectedly, your body's not shocked and get injured. Okay, so that's why we wanna move and move and move and move and move. So this next one is gonna be a torso rotation. We're gonna be in that same quadruped stance. I'm gonna go left arm behind my head to start, and I'm gonna rotate that elbow up. We're gonna do five repetitions on each side. In three, two, one, and go. Open, 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 open. <sighs> one, now collapse. Whether it's to the floor, to the arm. Open, 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 open. <sighs> two. Three. Four. One more and remember to breathe. Five. Good. Now try to time your exhale when you're at your peak range of motion. Try to exhale. That'll loosen the body just enough to give it a little bit more of a range of motion. Okay. Other side. Five repetitions. Three, two, one. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. One more. And five. Good, 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 good. All right. Loosen up. Break, shake. And we're going to take just a smidge of a break. I'm going to adjust my mat. We're going to do a little bit of posterior chain activation, uh, meaning basically we're going to activate your butt muscles and your hamstrings. Uh, we're going to do single leg glute bridge, 10 reps, 10 reps, double leg glute bridge, 10 reps. Okay, so I'm going to fix my mat here. Doesn't matter where you guys are, as long as you can see. Now, single leg glute bridge, unlike the exercise we did to warm up where we put that leg here, on a single leg glute bridge, you can have your leg off, you can have it straight, you can have it however you want to do it, or you could put that leg up on the, up, your ankle up on that leg. Doesn't matter, we're gonna do 10 repetitions, okay? I like to keep it bent and flexed, a little bit more of an athletic position, in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, niner, ten. All right, so. Spinal rockers, but we're actually going to go roll to V-sit, okay? We're going to try and loosen up both legs, because then we're going to do a double leg glute bridge. <sighs> roll to V-sit, so it's kind of like a spinal rocker, <sighs> and do a V-sit. It's that kind of, that's exactly what it is. <sighs> I'm going to go two more, and I feel all right. If you need more... Take more. If you're good to go, 
double leg glute bridge. All right, here we go. Double leg glute bridge. Pull those bad boys into the heels to the hammies. Toes up so you're guaranteed to push through the heels. Now I'm also adding in a little bit of elbows into the ground from a scapular retraction standpoint just to activate pretty much everything on my posterior side or as, as much as possible. You do not have to do that because every time I push up, I can get a little bit higher, but my goal is to pinch and squeeze, retract my shoulder blades back into the ground. And if you drive the elbows into the ground, you can encourage that or help that, all right? So let's go 10 repetitions, double leg glute bridge with the toes up. Three, two, one, and go. One, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, spinal rocker to V-sit. And that's just to loosen up. I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually going to stay over here a little bit and rotate from side to side. Touch the toe. Touch the toe. Spinal rocker. Roll. To v -sit. Hang out here. Just kind of go from side to side a little bit. I'm going to do two more. Okay. And break. All right. Let's go ahead and stand up on this one. All right, so we're going to do a couple of movements. These are a little bit of uh, stretching, a little bit of range of motion, but basically it's just going to be stretching out those hammies and glutes that, that you just worked. So let's go. The Maybe it's a closer stance than regular squat, but I want you to just hang, okay? Big inhale. On the exhale, you're going to go down. Hold it for two count, one, 1,000, two. Big inhale. On the exhale, gonna go down a little bit. Hold it, one, two, big inhale. Now, as soon as you can get your hands under your toes, or maybe it's here, wherever it is, just grab and pull a little bit. Breathing throughout the entire time. Three. Two, one, and all the way up. Okay, now spread, open it up. We're gonna do the same thing. Now when I'm talking about the breathing, on the inhale, you're gonna find yourself coming up a little bit. On the exhale, it's gonna relax and you're gonna go a little bit lower, okay? So we're still reaching down for the floor, okay? Gonna just reach and hang, nice and loose, nice and easy. One, 1,000, two, inhale. Exhale, a little bit lower. One, 1,002. Inhale. Exhale. One, 1,002. Now, whatever you can grab, shins, ankles, knees, toes, grab and pull. One, 1,002. Come on up. All right, last one, a little bit wider. Don't push it too much, okay? Because you're gonna get a stretch no matter what. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to the middle, down to the left, down to the middle, down to the right, down to the middle, up. Middle left, middle right, middle up, okay? Nice and easy. It's a little bit of a bounce, but nice and easy. So it's gonna look like this. Down, left, down, right, down, up. Okay, we're going to do that a couple of times. Three, two, one, and go. Center, left, center, right, center, up. Center, left, center, right, center, up. Center, left, center, right, center, up. Center, left, center, right, Center up. We're going to go one more. Try to get lateral. Get as much width as possible. Center left, 
center, right, center, up, and break. All right, give it a little bit of a shake out. We're gonna go one more time with the high knee pulls, okay, that we typically do. Um, we did them on the floor, and one time through with the quad stretch that we typically do. All right, let's do it two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Now go to your quad stretch. One, two, three, four, five, five more to go, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very, very good. Now we are standing and complete. Very good job for your Mobility Monday. Now feel free to continue stretching, rolling. Now that things are loosey-goosey, rolling out would be a great time to do that, whether it's PVC pipe or foam roller or massage gun or stick. Doesn't matter if you want to go into your cardio, today would be a good day to do low intensity steady state. But no matter what, great job with your Mobility Monday, range of motion movements. Enjoy that. If you got questions or comments or want to know how to loosen something else up, Text me, email me, shoot me a message down below, and we'll see you guys manana.